You're watching The Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, optimizing your hormones, specifically for men today. We're talking about bioidentical hormones for men. With us, we have an expert on the topic. He is Southern California's go-to uh, anti-aging doctor, functional medicine doctor. With us, we have, uh, and we've had him on the program before. He's actually my doctor, Dr. Sean Breen. Dr. Breen, welcome to the program. Thanks welcome for having me, back. Randy. Great to be back. Good, good. So for people that don't know your practice, uh, who's the typical patient and what are the different uh, services you offer? Sure. Randy, the typical patient is someone just like me six years ago. I was uh, running a busy practice. I had two little kids at home and I would come home and I was tired. I wanted to work out, but I didn't have the energy to work out. Uh, I wasn't waking up with erections every morning. I realized I could go a week without having sex with my wife and I didn't consider it. And then I had the fortuitous um, uh, luck of running into a guy by the name of Dr. Neil Rougier who changed my life. Neil Rougier is a pioneer in uh, hormone replacement therapy. And he, he said, Sean, what are your hormone levels? And I said, Dr. Ruji, I don't know what my hormone levels are. So he said, let's check. And he ran a full hormone panel on okay. me, Randy, that included testosterone, growth hormone, thyroid, DHEA. He looked at insulin and cortisol. And what he found in my labs was life-changing. I had high cortisol and low testosterone and low thyroid. And, and what he did for me changed my life. Now, let me tell you about the last 14 hours of my life to give you an idea of what my life is like. All right, all right. Last night, great sex with my wife. I woke up this morning with an erection, which is fantastic. And a lot of guys that are watching this show, Randy, are not waking up with an erection. I did three. So it's really normal to just every morning have an erection? That, that is optimal for when you're a younger man, but that actually declines as we age. Okay. I, was, I did 300 push-ups in 12 minutes and 15 seconds. I did 150 wall balls, and I went for a three-mile run. Now you're, I, I mean, you're fit. You know, with that jacket, I mean, people don't realize you are lean. Right, and I, take, and I try and take good care of myself. Now, I come down here to shoot the show, and let me tell you how my afternoon's going to go. I'm going <laughs> to leave here. I'm going to go surf with my brother, and we're going to take our kids around and run around the beach. I have energy, and the best way to describe my life right now is I'm alive. I'm not just living, but I'm thriving. And Randy, it's not because I'm special. It's because my doctor put me on 80 milligrams of testosterone injectable twice a week. Every morning I wake up and I take 90 milligrams of thyroid. I take 25 milligrams of pregnenolone. I take 50 milligrams of DHEA. And every night before I go to bed, I inject something called somorolin and growth hormone releasing peptide. And because of that, I have more energy. I'm having the best, best sex of my life. I'm vibrant, my mood is improved, and I'm able to maintain you know, a 12% body fat, which at my age is actually pretty good. The normal range is 10 to 20%. And this is real body fat. That's what I say real, because you have a DEXA scan right. at, your, at your office that, that measures actually to the, what? That's to correct. The we use DEXA scan and we use bioimpedance, and we can, we can tell a person exactly what their body fat percentage is within a, within a tenth of a percentage point. So you, and I know your age, by the way, and you look 10 years younger than your age. You know, it's nice to find a medical, and I'm trying not to, to, to side with you, but it's, it's nice to find a doctor that walks their talk. Right. You know, that lives it, eats it, breathes it. You know, I know when, when something new comes out, I call, right. run it by you. You know, what do you think of this? What do you, and you always seem to know what's... Right. And, and you know, here's what, here's what happened this morning. Here's a part of the story of my day that I haven't told you yet. Okay. As I'm leaving to go for my run this morning, there's a handyman working next door, and he says to me, he says, wow, you're working out hard. I wish I had the energy to work out. Yeah. And I'm looking at this guy and I said, this is the guy that's my typical patient, right? He's 20 pounds overweight. He's working all day long. I'm talking to him. He's like, I have three little kids at home. I don't have the energy for them when I get home. I'm trying to work out. I can't lose weight. And I said, well, let me ask you this question. When was the last time you saw your doctor? And he said, I was just at my doctor's office a month ago. So what did he tell you? Well, he said, my cholesterol is a little bit high. I have a little bit of high blood pressure. He wants me to just watch what I eat. And that's it. I said, well, what were your testosterone levels? He said, I, he didn't check my testosterone. I said, well, what were your insulin levels? He didn't look at my fasting insulin. I said, did he look at your cortisol or DHEA or IGF-1 levels? He said, no. And I said, that's the problem. We're not trained in medicine to look at hormone levels. We're just getting a basic cholesterol screen and that's it. I guarantee this guy. Now, I gave him my business card, Randy. Okay. And I told him, I said, you let me do my blood work. But I guarantee you that this guy, when he comes in, he's going to have low testosterone, high cortisol, and high insulin, which is creating no energy, a high amount of body fat, which is in, uh, increasing inflammation in his body, which is shutting down his brain's ability to focus and think. It's affecting his mood. It's affecting his entire life. And I see patients like this that come into my office every single day, no energy, 
no libido. They're not waking up with erections. They can't recover from their workouts. I mean, we get patients who, in my practice, like this guy I'm about to describe to you, he's 54 years old. He used to ride motocross professionally. He, he, he trained in kickboxing. So this is a high performer. He's 54 years old. He's a CEO of his company, and he's completely gassed. He said, Dr. Breen, I go to the gym, and I just can't recover. My back is killing me. I can't get through my workouts. My energy's down. I said, well, how's your libido? Well, it's not so great. My wife has a great libido. She's 10 years younger than me, and I'm having a hard time keeping up with her, right? Yeah. I check his blood levels. Where is his testosterone? His testosterone is 199. So he has the definition of what we call hypogonadism or low testosterone. Now, for those of you watching at home, that doesn't mean anything to you. But I will tell you, the range of testosterone for LabCorp, which is the lab that we use, is 348 on the low end and 1200 on the high end. So 348 is an F, 1200 is an A+. Plus. So this guy was 199, which is, by the way, very common. My testosterone levels six years ago were 248, which is blew me away because here I am in my 30s. How is it that my testosterone is so low? And, and, and I'll get back to it because we grind hard, we play hard. I was in the military, I was deployed. We were, we're stressed, we're under, we don't sleep enough, and, and we get this hormonal decline. Now, he comes to me with high insulin levels because he's been doing a, a lot of Starbucks. You know, people don't realize all the, all the hidden sugars in coffee. So what did we do for this guy? I put him on testosterone, 80 milligrams every four days. I gave him DHEA, I gave him pregnenolone. I gave him an oral secretagog called ibutamorin. I put him on a baby aspirin because he also had plaque buildup in his arterial walls. He had what we call coronary artery disease. Now, okay. one of the main things that we do with our patients in our office, which, which I love, is we run them through a nutrition program called Feed the Soul. I have an incredible nutritionist in my office. Her name is Kathy Aris, and she, runs our, she teaches our patients how to eat, and here's why. I learned very early on in my medical practice that if you can clean up someone's diet 100%, if they eat 100% clean, 80% of what ails them goes away. And I firmly believe that things that, should be, that can be treated with diet should be treated with diet. And so Kat transitioned him off sugar. We got his hormones. We corrected his hormone deficiencies. And within, uh, within literally three months, he comes back into my office and says, Dr. Breen, you've, you've changed my life. Now, I don't just say that flippantly because that's a powerful statement, right? When someone says, you changed my life, mm -hmm. I get patients that will tell me that on a weekly basis. Dr. Breen, you changed my life. Why? Because he no longer had back pain. Why isn't it he had back pain? One, we reduced the inflammation in his body. Two, we corrected his hormone deficiencies. He's now working out every single day. His energy levels are improved. Um, He's had a reduction in body fat. Now, why is a reduction in body fat so important? This guy lost, he went from 21% body fat, which for him was high. The range is 10 to 20%. Okay. He went down to 14%. Now, why is that important? One, he looks great, right? So he has, he has abs now. His wife is more attracted to him. He's happy. He's walking around. His clothes are fitting better. Yeah. Right? All those things that give you the confidence when you walk into a business meeting, when you meet somebody, like this morning, you said you, you came up to me and you said, hey, Dr. Breen, you look lean. I said, yeah, and that's a great feeling to have. Now, um, the, great, the great thing about uh, th this patient is when we reduced the guy's body fat down to yeah. 14%, his inflammatory markers came down. Now, in my practice, I do hormone replacement, but I also do a lot of functional medicine. And when you reduce inflammation in someone's body, you reduce their mortality from all causes. That's cancer, that's heart disease. And I will tell you this, most people don't realize this. The average guy who's walking around with an extra 20 pounds of fat, which throw a rock, you're gonna hit two, has a, has a fasting blood sugar probably around the area of 95 to 110. I just got back from the Institute of Functional Medicine's annual conference on dementia and cognitive decline and Alzheimer's disease. This is where doctors from all over the world get doctors, together and learn all this stuff. The smartest doctors from okay. all over the world congregate together and they present the evidence in the literature. If you have a fasting blood sugar in the morning of 101, which you're not a diabetic, right? So med medicine, we really don't do anything other than tell patients to exercise or try and eat better. You have four times the risk of getting dementia in your lifetime. Why is that important? Because 45 million Americans in this country are going to have dementia. It's going to be, it's an epidemic of, 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 of proportions that we can't even really conceptualize now with the cost of our medical society. So when I reduce his blood sugar and reduce body fat, we reduce inflammation, not only does he feel good, not only does he have more energy. So you're not, reducing risk for Alzheimer's. We're reducing risk for Alzheimer's, reducing risk for cardiovascular disease, we're reducing um, re 
risk for cancer. I mean, we generally are changing this guy's life. And that's why I'm so passionate okay. and I love what I do. So guys like this, Randy, they come in, their memory improves, their mood improves. I can't tell you how many patients that are being diagnosed with depression who have hormone deficiencies. When you give them, you correct their hormone deficiencies, their memories improve. I have patients who will tell me, I haven't felt this good. My memory, yeah, my yeah. memory and my mood hasn't been this good in years. Well, what changed? I started injecting, I started injecting your hormones. I started eating clean. I started sleeping better. So it's a combination of all these different things that we do for our patients. But I can tell you day in and day out, if you want more energy, you want better mood, you want better cognition, more focus, you want to look better, you want better sexual performance. Um, this is what we do day in and day out, and we absolutely love it because we, we truly are changing lives right now. You know, I know guys in, 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 in their 50s and 60s, and I'm not trying to side with you, but I happen to know you do good work. Right. Uh, you're my doctor. I've sent you family members. As a matter of fact, I sent you a family member who's a guy who just, yeah, he was okay, right? Uh, but not a workout person, never went to the gym, walked a little bit. And, and this is an exaggeration, right? So this guy, Corey gets on your program and within literally a month later, now he does, uh, God forbid, yoga three times a week. I'm joking about that because I can't do yoga, it's hard for me. But he's in the gym, he's at Orange Theory, and his whole life, I mean, literally he's saying, it, and he didn't know how bad it was until you get energy back. And, and when I met you, here I was, I'm going, I feel good. He goes, you said, let's do your levels. Because I'm, I'm, and I'm a lot, like a lot of my friends, we feel good, right? And then, so, Turns out I've got some hormonal deficiencies. Uh, we, we very conservatively, because I, like you said, you don't like to give testosterone to people that don't need it. Right. right. You have to qualify for testosterone, right. Randy. So you have to have low testosterone. It's what we call hypogonadism. It's that. That's what testosterone is indicated for. And you have an easy problem. I mean, I, I should say when when I get my blood drawn, I have somebody that comes to my house, draws my blood that you guys arranged. We make it as simple as possible. So if you were to pick up the phone and call my office right now and said, hey. I want Dr. Breen to check my levels. I just watched him on TV or I saw him on the internet. What my staff is gonna do is they're gonna generate a lab slip for you. We're gonna send a mobile phlebotomist to your house within 48 hours, most of the time. Yeah. And within five days, I will know what your insulin levels are. I know what your cortisol levels are. I'm gonna know if you have testosterone deficiency. I'm gonna know what your IGF-1 levels are. I'm gonna know if you're pre-diabetic. I'm gonna know if you're at four times increased risk for having life, for, for dementia, because I'm gonna be looking at your fasting blood sugars, we look at now, your lipids now, now. Hang on one second, for people just tuning in, we're talking uh, with Dr. Sean Breen about hormone optimization, and, and sorry to interrupt you, but the, the, are you of the belief, I just wanna make this clear, that as you get older, let's say 50, that horm certain hormones decline, right? And when you replenish those hormones, you're doing it to more youthful levels, that people feel young again. People have the energy they did in the youth. Is there truth to that? So all hormones have health benefits. And when you lose the hormone, you lose the health benefit. There's a reason why when we're 18, we could stay up all night, eat pizza, wake up in the morning, go shoot hoops. There's a reason <laughs> why we can have sex four times a day. And the reason why that is, is because our hormone levels, our testosterone, our growth hormone, our thyroid are all peaking. And this is a physiological fact. This is not my opinion. As we age, we see a, a decline in hormone levels. Now, for some patients, that decline is more gradual, right? And mm -hmm. some guys don't, some guys will maintain higher testosterone levels until they're 50 and 60 years old. However, let me give you the flip side of the case. I'm part of an organization called Warrior Angels Foundation. We treat young men who have sustained traumatic, mild traumatic brain injury in the military. Right now, there's a girl or a guy who's playing soccer, who's heading the soccer ball, who's getting what we call the mild traumatic brain injury. They're not getting knocked out. 56% of patients who have sustained a concussion will have a hormone deficiency within 12 months. This is all under the work of uh, a doctor up in Los Angeles, a very brilliant doctor. And so you don't have to be 60 years old before you have low testosterone. I see guys who are 37 years old. What are the symptoms of low testosterone? Sure, so testosterone, if you pick up a physio uh, physiology textbook, does a lot of things in the body. The reason why um, it's used by athletes and it's abused by athletes is because testosterone is so anabolic. It helps us build muscle. It helps us strengthen bone. It helps us burn body fat, right? And when we burn body fat, we reduce inflammation, we reduce your blood sugars, we, all those things that we discussed early in the show. If you do a Google Scholar search on testosterone and mood, you'll get over 40,000 hits. To put you in a better mood. 
puts you in a better mood. Now, this is all in the medical literature. This is not my opinion. It's, you just go to uptodate.com, which is a resource that doctors use all the time. Um, testosterone, it, it's, you know, there's some controversy recently about testosterone cardiovascular function. And when we sit down with patients, I spend two hours doing what we call an informed consent. So we go over all the data. Um, but, and it's sexual health. You know, I can't tell you how many patients that come into my office with good marriages. They say, I'm married to my best friend, right? We get along, we have these kids together, we travel, but they're in sexless relationships. They want to improve So that. you've seen that reversed? I've like seen that reversed. every week you and, see it? Yeah, and, and so here's, here's, if you're a guy right now and you're struggling with this, which is, believe it or not, no one's out there around the coffee shop, around the first tee, right, talking about how they have erectile dysfunction and they don't want to have sex. Or their lack of desire. Right, because it's, because it's embarrassing. But it's physiologic. This is what happens to guys as we age because of poor diet, lack of exercise, stress with work, stress with family, you're taking care of your parents, you're grinding, right? But this is what I tell guys. Uh, testosterone, five milligrams of Cialis, and if you start juicing uh, uh, kale and beets every single day, your erections are gonna improve. It's extremely rare that we take care of patients who don't, have, who don't see an improvement in erections. Now, the pharmacy that I use, we compound these little Cialis trochies. You dissolve them in your mouth. And they're 25 milligrams a piece. You can cut those in quarters and dissolve five milligrams of Cialis, and you'll have uh, good coverage for 24 hours for erections. That has been life-changing for my patients. It's been life-changing for me. And there's no shame in taking them. And we use them pretty liberally. And so uh, what we do for our patients is we give them testosterone. We replace their hormone deficiencies if they're okay. hormone deficient, okay. right? We give them Cialis. We take the sugar out of their diet. And then we, have, we use kale and beets because those are the foods that will generate the most nitric oxide. And if you're suffering from erectile dysfunction, you need to have your hormone levels checked to see if you have hormone deficiencies. Come into my office. If you do have a hormone deficiency, we'll correct it. So, so, so do you have guys like, like all the time that are saying that, that you got their libido back, their sex drive back, and Absol all the time? Absolutely. And it's not... Because with me, I felt energy. Right. That means for me, it was more about right. energy. Get up and go. Right. Drive. Memory. Ambition. Right. Uh, but, and, but, yeah, sure. And, and I can and, tell and you... Just hearing this, by the way, it's hard, it's, it's hard to believe this is going on all over the place. One of the things that I think brings credibility to my practice is I'm speaking from the heart because I'm speaking about myself, right? The preacher's always preaching about what he's struggling with the most. I'm passionate about this because I was that guy, right? Interesting, okay. I had a lack of libido. I wasn't waking up with erections. And I'm sitting there, at, you know, not, a, not an old man, as a young man going, what the heck is going on? So that's on? an at-home test somebody could take. If they're not waking up with erections, they have a low testosterone level. Possibly. And what we do Possibly. is we okay. send a mobile phlebotomist to your house. We'll check your hormone deficiencies. Now, again, I don't want to uh, give the impression that this is a magic bullet. Because again, in my practice, Randy, we focus so much on your nutrition. We focus so much on getting a good night's sleep. We focus so much on stress management. All these other things that will contribute um, to all these symptoms that guys are complaining of. Not everybody is tired and has a low sex drive because they have low testosterone. Many of them are. But for a lot of patients, it's because they're eating McDonald's. Or I was getting coffee this morning and I, I like to observe what people eat, right? Guy came in and ordered cheesecake. Two people behind me ordered muffin and a coffee. In the morning. In the morning. And this okay. is how they're starting their day. And so until we correct those things, which we will, and, and you know, in patients, it's not their fault. They haven't been educated. We've been tricked. We've been duped. Um, we were taught that Cheerios is good for your health. They put a nice heart. They say low cholesterol. When that's the worst thing that you could possibly do for your blood sugars in the morning. So it's not their fault, but we have to educate them, which is one of the things that we focus on. It's most, one of the things I'm most proud of in my medical practice is that We've dropped, in one of the cases I have here, a guy's bad cholesterol, the LDL, the one that's the worst that the medical community targets the most, from 179 to 97 in five months with food alone. Amazing. Amazing. And we see that day in, day out in my practice, and it's what we're most proud of. Now, when patients come in, they want to feel better. And I always tell my patients, you're going to look in the mirror and decide the success of my program and how you feel, how you look, how you're carrying yourself. That's the easy part. The trickier part, what gets us more excited is at the six month mark, when I check all their metabolic markers, when I look at their, when we see their blood pressure go down, I see their blood sugar go from 105 to 84, which cuts their lifetime risk, like I said, of dementia by four. We get excited when patients' um, cholesterol drops from 
300 to 179, which I just had in a five month period, which a, what, the woman put in a tremendous amount of effort. Um, she um, went completely plant-based, which is phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we do that in my practice and it's something I'm very proud of. And you of. also do you know, supplements. You tell people what, what to take. I mean, you told me what to take, what supplements to help with cholesterol, what supplements to help with you know, brain fog, the right kind of fish oils, sure. things like that. I mean, it's a, it's a complete program. We only prescribe hormones if you have a, a hormone deficiency. And testosterone is not for everyone. And there are risks associated with using testosterone. And when I sit down with patients, I spend the first two hours that, that first appointment is two hours because we answer those questions. We go over all the risks of using testosterone. We go over all the risks. So of not using... everybody's going to qualify. Not everybody's like going to come in wanting testosterone. Right? A lot of patients are going to qualify because a lot of patients are getting beat up. They're not sleeping. They're not eating clean. And they're quite honestly, they're aging, right? Which we know is associated with the declines of testosterone. And so uh, that is a very important point that you, you bring up is that we want to make sure that you actually qualify for testosterone. We don't just give it to patients randomly. How soon, like at your office, how soon before they find out, you know, yes, you'd be a candidate for testosterone sure. replacement? If I were to draw your blood right now, I would know in five days whether or not you were a candidate for, for testosterone replacement. So if somebody wants uh, to get involved in your program, sure. they go online or they call your office, what's yeah, the sure. best way? Drbreen.com. You can call our office. One of my patient coordinators is going to walk you through the process. It's very, very simple. We order your labs. Um, the mobile phlebotomist comes to your house, and with five days, we're sitting face to face discussing your labs. Okay. You're going to know what your testosterone levels are. You're going to know what your thyroid levels are. You're going to know if you have high insulin. You're going to know if you're pre diabetic. You're going to know if you have high cortisol. And then we're going to get to work. And then generally, within two to three weeks, patients are already telling us they feel better. You know, the guy that I sent you, by the way, with him, it was like within two weeks, he already felt better, right? And, and when he came to me, that was September. And I told you, I said, Randy, he's going to have the best Christmas of his life. That's what you said to right. me. That's because right. his testosterone levels were 14. I mean, okay. he was completely bottomed out. And um, so now he's back. He's, he's back. back. He's First doing Orange back. Theory. He's feeling great. He's growing. And uh, we. But that's a typical situation in your practice? It's typical. And I, I can, mean, I, I know what produce, it did for me. Right. And I could, like, I could show you, I've been doing this now full time for many years. And I can tell you, I have hundreds of case studies. I brought four, I have all their blood work, I can show patients. Uh, we could show them body compositions. We have very detailed notes of, of how great patients are feeling. So I would encourage you, if you again, if you're watching okay. at home and we just described you or you feel terrible and you've been told, you've gone to your doctor and you said, hey, you know, you have a little bit high cholesterol, but you're just getting old or you're aging. I need you to pick up the phone and call my office because just like that handyman within 90 days, I know I'm going to change his life. Okay, so final message. Guys watching this, uh, maybe he's just... Because you say you deal with CEOs, you deal with people that are right. already feeling good, but they want to pick it up a notch, or maybe they're sick, or Alzheimer's runs in their family, or whatever, but they're skeptical. Maybe they're worried about the dangers, they're right. worried about this or that. What do you say to them? Well, what I would say is come in and talk to me, because the, the beautiful thing about my practice is I practice something called evidence-based medicine. We look at the science, we look at the studies, and that's what we're basing our protocols on. This is not... Um, pie in the sky. This is this is something that's very scientific. And I would say, come in and let me sit down with you and let me educate you. These are very smart people. Uh, pe I send patients home with studies all the time. I said, why don't you read this? Why don't you read about this hormone and what it does to your cardiovascular system? Why don't you read about DHEA and the, the annals of psychiatry and read about what it did for mood in this study? And I let them educate themselves because an educated patient are the best patients to take care now, of. Now, people are traveling from all over the country, right? All I, over the world to I see. I have patients that... I have patients who are frustrated in New Zealand, Sweden. There's places in Europe that don't, they don't believe in hormones uh, that will come to see me. They fly in to see me from all over the world. They fly into John Wayne. They spend a couple days in Southern California. I have had some people fly in in the morning, see me mid-morning, and fly out that afternoon. Um, so I'm very accessible. And then once they see me and we have a face-to-face -face visit and I do a physical exam, then I can manage them remotely okay. from wherever they're living. And we should mention, look, insurance companies... Medicare, things like that, don't cover this. They look at this as like an anti-aging program right. or prevention program. But you're pro look, I know the fees, right. and they're as much as like a Jenny Craig or, or a Nutrisystem. Yeah. I mean, it's the truth, right? right. And, and, you know, the system design... In fact, it's less than those programs. Right. And, you know, I, I often, I, I say this to patients. I know, I know you're spending your hard-earned money in my office, and I don't take that lightly. But I truly believe that this is the best money they will spend in their life because I've seen it day in and day out how great they're going to feel, Randy. And, 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 I, and again, 
I spend my money on, on, on hormone replacement. I have to actually see a doctor. I can't self-prescribe. And it's the best money that I've spent. And you can, listen, you can yeah. go to my Yelp page <laughs> and you can read all the reviews. There's 39 reviews that they show and there's another 40 that they hide. You can read the stories of the patients and how we've changed their lives. I want to thank you for coming to the show. It, you know, and, and to me, because I'm a skeptical guy, I interview a lot of doctors right. the last 18 years and I stopped taking my hormones for about two or three weeks one time just to see what would happen. I was, I was a couch potato again. I'm sitting there watching TV and I'm going, I'm back to my old ways. Get back on the hormones, I'm ambitious. I don't feel like watching TV all day. I don't feel like, you know, now I wanna spend time with my kids, on a bike ride, I just got another bike. I mean, it's, it's energy. And I follow you on Facebook, Randy, and I see the workouts at Frogs in the Morning, chest and tries, back and buys. I couldn't work out before. I, I mean, get it. Look, I'd go to the gym and t I'm, it's like it was rehab to me. I'm just like lifting, rehab, yeah. and now I'm pushing it. Of course. But I didn't have the energy before. And you're, and you're getting results, and results beget results, I think right? it's the hormones. Of course. Because I eat, I try to eat clean, but it's the hormones. It's, it's, a it's huge, an edge. It's, it's definitely a, an edge. It's a huge component of People what need to know, the, the most successful people uh, in the fitness industry, that, you know, I see them writing books, and, and, and I know them off camera. Right. And they're all taking hormones, but they don't right. mention it in the book. Right. Or they don't mention it in their book. Right. Right? And it, it seems like if you're over 50 and you're looking good, chances are they're optimizing their hormones. Well, a lot of them have hormone deficiencies and, they, and they, have, they have the money and the resources and the assets to go out and they have the information to go out and actually seek again. And I know you're strict, by the way. You, I wanna make sure you don't give hormones to people that don't need them. No, we treat, for example, we give testosterone to guys who, are hypogo, who have hypogonadism, which means they have low testosterone. We don't just give testosterone to athletes that come in with a testosterone at 800 that want to make it 1,200. No, the medical board- Do you have board, to turn some people down? Of course, and we do. And we do. That doesn't mean that they don't need um, other things. I mean, most okay. people that come in will need nutrition. That doesn't mean they don't need thyroid. It doesn't mean they don't need DHA or pregnenolone. But certainly with testosterone, you know, there's strict guidelines that we follow in my practice. And- uh, Thousands, tens of thousands of patients right now who would qualify for testosterone replacement if they would only get their levels checked. If people out. knew how good they could feel, they would all do it. You would think. Because I talk to guys that are like lethargic. Yeah. I have a buddy, you know, his nickname is The Slot. Right. We went to high school together. He's got money, successful, but he's tired all the time. He's tired all it's the like time. It's like a slow mover. Right. And he didn't used to be that way. Two weeks, two weeks, if he has testosterone efficiency. He's in Orange County yeah, too. Two weeks, send him my way. Two weeks on testosterone, changing up his nutrition, correcting whatever other hormone imbalances he has, uh, lowering his insulin, it's all gonna be a huge benefit to him and he's gonna reap the rewards. Okay, good, I wanna thank you for coming to the show. Always awesome. a pleasure. Randy, thank you for having me. You've been watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Hours. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.